All right, you clicked on this video because you have a character controller that you want to upgrade to the new Unity input system. So I have this scene here in Unity. I've installed the new input system in Unity and just set up a simple action map, but haven't done anything else. So if I just press play real quickly, we can see that it yells at me in the console because it's trying to use the old input system. So. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix that. Alright, so we have to go into our player movement script. We have to import the input system by typing in unityengine.input Unity system. That should be the correct reference. And then we need to create a public. First, we have to make the control map generate a c sharp class and just press apply okay so right now it's yelling at me for some reason i don't know why but we can just go into our script here and we can just type in public controls and just call it something like control or yeah something like that okay so in our controller class we need to do controller is equal to new controls this will pretty much create it and then we need an on enable and disable function on enable we need to do controller dot enable and then in that line and then we need a disable function on disable and just do controller dot disable all right so now we've pretty much created the controller now it just won't work out of the box like you might think it is and i still don't know why it's yelling at me okay so the reason why it is yelling at me is because i named it the wrong thing so i can just say control or something like that so that will generate a new script and we can delete the old controls file and then that should fix it and we just have to go into our script and just say control or like this control like that all right and then that should work once we save it head back into unity and then all our errors are gone okay so now we can open this back up just so i have the correct reference okay so now we can go into here instead input dot get access we can do controller controller dot controls dot movement dot read value and we can type in vector 2 open close parentheses and then we can do dot x and this will pretty much tell it to read the x value of the vector 2 and then we can do the same for the input dot get axis vertical except instead of x we do y all right so that should work but i can't run it right now because it's still yell at me in the console so i'm not going to okay so now we have some jumping and some keyboard input we have to deal with okay so instead of doing input dot get key down we do keyboard dot current dot space key dot is press was press this frame now that should work but I still can't run it because it's still yelled at me because we're still in the middle of updating. Alright, we can go back into our script and we can type in keyboard dot current. This is for the running one and this will pretty much just allow us to press the left shift key and run. So we can do keyboard dot current dot left shift key dot is pressed so instead of doing was pressed this frame which will only be called once every frame is pressed will return true if it's being killed down okay that should be it except in our late update function we have to do keyboard this is for crouching keyboard dot current dot left control left control key dot is pressed like this so that will return true if we're currently pressing the keyboard left control key all right that should be everything for our player movement script we just have to go into our player movement rotation script and then it should work 
So I have to go into there, open it up in VS Code, and it's pretty much simple. We just have to change input.getAxis from mouse x. All right, we have to change input.getAxis from mouse x to something we have to create. So we can just create a new action and call it mouse like this, and then we can give it delta. But first we have to change it for some reason, pass through. I believe it's any and then we can do delta and then mouse so after that we can save the asset create a reference to it in our player rotation script so we can do public controller controller and then just call it controller like this and then in our awake function which we have to create awake we can say controller is equal to a new controller this should create the controller and then we need an on enable and disable function on enable and on disable on disable like this we can just say controller dot enable like this and then controller not constant controller dot disable in our on disable function all right, so that will pretty much create a reference to it in our player rotation script. And then instead input.getAxis mouse x, we can do controller dot controls dot mouse dot read value. And then it should be vector two like this. Okay, so instead of just doing it like this, we have to add x and then it should work just like that. And then we can do the same thing for our mouse y. And then we can just add dot y instead. Okay, I accidentally typed in two periods, so I'm going to delete that, and then everything should work. So, we don't have to create a reference to it because the script is automatically creating the reference itself. So, we should just be able to press, pro press play, and then everything should work. Yeah, our mouse is currently way too sensitive, but besides that, we've upgraded our first-person character controller to the new input system. If you want to know how to create this first-person character controller, then I recommend you check out my first-person movement series and my first-person shooter tutorial series. It pretty much teaches you everything about the first-person controller we have here. But if you found this video informative, then I recommend you subscribe and smash that bell. I make more Unity tutorials, so I recommend you go check those out as well. Fun Uber, out.